Good evening and welcome to the news of Ashuruk TV. Today's stories include The International Humanitarian Law Committee is to be reformed. A high level delegation held meetings in Ethiopia. The coronavirus infection cases have increased to 2,591. Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok has issued a decree to reshape the National Committee for the Humanitarian Law, chaired by the Minister of Justice and the representative of the civil society organization operating in the field of humanitarian rights and international law. The decree directs the concerned parties to implement it as recommended by the Ministry of Justice. A high-level delegation for the government is currently on a visit to Ethiopia, they have held a number of meetings with the Ethiopian senator, senior officials. The delegation, which is led by the Cabinet Affairs Minister, Omar Banis, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ms. Esma Mohamed Abdullah, and the State Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Omar Gamereddin, has arrived in Ethiopia last Friday. The member of the Sovereign Council and Chairman of the Higher Committee of Health and Emergency, Professor Siddiq Tower, announced that the committee recommended the Defense and Security Council to extend the lockdown for two more weeks. Professor Towers spoke in a, in a COVID-19 conference stating that the committee submitted the recommendation to the Defense and Security Committee to consider the two-week extension. The head of the Higher Council of Peace and Reconciliation in West Darfur State Mr. Al Sadiq Mohammed noted in a statement to Suna that the joint meetings between the State Security Committee and the Native Administration, chaired by the Governor of West Kordofan State, General Abdullah Mohammed Abdullah, has asserted the necessity for coordination between the two sides to realize peace and the work for peaceful coexistence, acceptance of others, mending of the social fabric and security. The Prince of the Western Mountains in Lagawa area, Mr. Saleh al Azraq, affirmed the direct responsibility of the native administration on the property of the citizens in this area, asserting their strong stance with the state's government in combating treason and tribalism. Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok issued a decree to reform the board of directors of the Secretary of the Sudanese Working Abroad. The Council is headed, is headed by the Cabinet Affairs Minister, Dr. Saleh Manis. The head of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan, received a written message from the, from the Eritrean President, Isias Afwarki, dealing with the joint relations and means for develop, developing them further as well as enhancing the cooperation in regional and international issues of, the mutu of mutual interest. This came when Al-Burhan received a high-level Eritrean delegation headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Osman Saleh, and the advisor for the Eritrean president, Yemeni Kabarab. Al-Burhan affirmed Sudan's enthusiasm to upgrade its relations with the state of Eritrea to meet the aspiration of the people of the two countries. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced at the increase of the cases of infection with the coronavirus. It has reached 2,591 cases with 105, de uh, with 105 deaths. The new registered cases of coronavirus infections bring the total number of cases since the beginning of the pandemic in Sudan to 2,591 cases, including 105 deaths. The Civil Aviation Authorities on Sunday issued a decree extending the closing down of the airport for, for local and international flights until May the 31st, in accordance with the precautionary measures taken by the state, including total lockdown. The decision included in its schedule cargo, humanitarian assistance, technical and humanitarian support, companies operating in oil fields, and eva the evacuation of foreigners. All excluded flights are subject to prior appro approval 
of the Sudanese, of the Sudanese civil aviation authorities. Reminding headlines. The International Humanitarian Committee is to be reformed. A high-level delegation held a meeting in Ethiopia. The coronavirus infection cases have increased to 2,591. That's all for today. See you next time.